Hey guys, welcome to new video. Freena Indusha here. In today's video, I got some small palladium recovery from a palladium uh, finger. You remember that board, that board socket with the palladium, which I show you. So here, I remove that uh, finger from that uh, board, and uh, I uh, save the board because uh, because. I noticed some palladium presence on the mark on this trace on traces on this traces on the board so uh, I cut only finger for this time and uh, let's recover some palladium here I got some other finger too small amount of finger which I noticed that has traces of palladium but not uh, pure palladium and uh, what I'm gonna show you, I think that this one is just a tin. Yeah, this one is just a tin. It's not palladium, and you can see the different bits between the color of this one and this one. This one is so shiny, but this one it's actually got some oxidation during a time. Okay, so. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use AP solution, of course, I start to use a lot of AP solution uh, lately because uh, I have time, I don't want to spend too much nitric and uh, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, other type of acid, you see, it's a copper underneath, it's just uh, very nice palladium foils there. So, uh, so I test that, it's not a silver, it's a palladium, I already test that, one finger, and uh, I start to use a lot of AP solution because it's much uh, easy to work, it's need a lot of time, but for that reason I made this, that uh, solar AP unit to keep my jar from the bad weather and uh, take some uh, heat sun in use so uh, it's not much there I got about 30 this palladium uh, fingers so right now I will just put that in the sun clean jar add I will add AP solution I will make AP solution and start leave that for some time okay so I need a lot of time to make this video but you have a lot of videos on my channel to keep you busy and uh, I'll just want to show you how much AP solution can be useful for for a different different type of material okay Okay guys, so right now I remove this jar with uh, that uh, PD finger, palladium finger from that AP unit. So if you see on the bottom you got a lot, lot of palladium finger flakes, very very nice, nice one. So. I must say that uh, this stuff uh, left uh, about uh, three weeks in this jar. So right now, I just use a funnel with a cotton, and uh, I will just I 
I will just filter that and collect that foils, okay? Okay, guys. So right now, still, I got some uh, solution to filter there, but here I got only you see a finger, and you see all these flakes. My gloves got a big hole there. All these flakes here. Everything is a palladium. So I will collect that into the funnel right now on the end because I don't want to mix that water with that AP solution. Okay, so I remove all that fingers. Now it's a clean finger without foils and this is our palladium foils. Like you see it's not too much but this is only about a 30 finger. Maybe some of them is not to be a palladium, it's just a tin but this one is a palladium, very nice. So now I think what the best is to do, to refine that or just melt that. So what I'm gonna do is not too much there, definitely, but what I'm gonna do, I will just dissolve that in the, I will dissolve that and I drop that with the aluminium, then I will melt. It's much easier to melt that than this foil. So, okay, first let's filter that. Okay, so right now in this beaker I collect all the foils. I got more too little sponge from the funeral. So it's not too much, definitely it's not too much there. Yeah. But look pretty clean.
Okay guys, so look at that. This is our palladium solution. It's pretty clean. And nice color, not too much palladium in there. Uh, very little amount of palladium can uh, color solution to look like uh, much much more, but not too much. So uh, right now, my next step is uh, to drop that palladium and uh, to dry the powder to see how much actually I get, okay? Okay guys, so right now here is our palladium powder inside of this uh, metal cup and uh, if you see I have burnt paper but in the middle of burnt paper I got some palladium sponge. So what I do, yeah look at that, right over here I got palladium sponge. So what I do, I just crush that into small pieces and uh, I collect that in the jar. So on the end I will uh, melt together that with my other palladium uh, powder. It's not worth to melt that small amount of palladium here, okay. Okay, to show you exactly what I do, I collect small amount of palladium like this like in this cup right now and I add it in the jar so this in this jar I got uh, some palladium uh, powder burn it with a filter from a stock pot from some other stuff so what I do so I collect that for a final refine because I don't want to refine small amount of palladium and uh, when I collect uh, some bigger amount of this powder I just melt that in a dirty bead like these so I just collect that beads and uh, on the end I do a final refining step of that metal beads so this is be just a recovery video and uh, I will process that in some of next video very soon when I collect more palladium like this okay okay guys so this is not a clear refining video this is just a, a recovery uh, video how to recover palladium from palladium fingers so uh, like I said I collect that uh, burn it filter with the palladium powder and I melt that in the beads in the dirty beads and uh, after Sometime when I collect a couple of grams, I refine in that because I don't want to work uh, and uh, lose my time on the 
0.1 or 2 gram palladium okay so uh, this is enough for today video i think i will see you soon in some next videos friends of cheers